Live, no wait weather and traffic on CW39 Houston. It is 8 o'clock. It is Wednesday. Good morning. I'm Sharon Melton. And I'm meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. I'm Hannah Trippett. Following traffic for you this morning, we had a busy start, but now things calm a little bit. I don't want to jinx anything, but no major yeah. crashes as of 8 a.m. That's good yeah, to hear. Things That's are good. looking rough out on the roadways. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. They're looking rough in our, our skyline views, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Look a little nasty. nasty out there <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with all that heat and that haze is what I'm tracking. All right, and sneezing because of the haze, but we'll get to that in just a second. But first, we've got this we are following for you this morning in news. A man has been shot and killed overnight. The shooting happened at a home on Oconee Drive in a Tomball neighborhood. Police say the victim got into an argument with his friend. Now that friend pulled out a gun and shot the victim in the stomach who later died. The suspect is in police custody. Meanwhile, one man is dead this morning and Houston police are looking for a suspect after a shooting in Greens Point near North Chase Road and Greens Road. Police say they believe the victim and the suspect got into an argument and they do have surveillance video. They are currently reviewing it. A man police believe shot and killed a nine year old girl is now in jail this morning. Jeremiah Jones was arrested by Houston police in a parking lot in North Harris County late yesterday. Police say Jones went to the child's home late Monday evening and started shooting. That nine year old child is Kaylee Sowers. She was shot and killed. Her mother, who police say is Jones' ex girlfriend, was also hurt but is expected to be okay. Jones is now charged with capital murder. And we have new surveillance photos this morning showing a vehicle police say is connected to another shooting that killed another child. They're looking for this white or gray colored four door sedan, possibly a Kia Optima. It would have extensive front end damage along the passenger side hood and the fender. Investigators say someone in that car fired into a home in the Cloverleaf area of East Harris County Sunday night. Seven year old Paul Vasquez was inside. He was hit in the chest and sadly later died. Now to Conroe. A woman is facing charges this morning after she opened fire in a hospital. Police say paramedics brought Glenda Johnson Jackson on a gurney to the HCA Healthcare Center in Conroe Tuesday for a mental health evaluation. But when she arrived on that gurney, she allegedly pulled out a gun that was strapped underneath her dress and fired two rounds. Luckily, one of the paramedics wrestled that gun away from her and no one was hurt. If you have any information about any of the shootings or any of the recent gun violence throughout the Houston area, you're urged to contact Crime Stoppers of Houston. The number is right there on your screen. It's 713-222-8477. Well, Harris County's District Attorney Kim Ogg is addressing some of this ongoing issue of gun violence throughout our surrounding community. Ogg touched on the rise in crime rates in our area and how her office plans to tackle this growing issue. She says the most common crimes committed in our area are gang related, random shootings and attacks and domestic violence. Of the 95,000 reported crime incidents each year, Ogg says 19,000 are domestic situations. Ogg says her office is working to protect